hope everyone's having a wonderful day. So today I'm doing a, as you see, uh, a Garden Goods uh, direct unboxing. Um, I ordered these plants. They came before the, the, the estimated delivery date because the actual estimated delivery date was July 22nd. And I just got them this morning from FedEx. So they're um, in Maryland. And I'm in California. Um, that's why I have this. Uh, well, I had to pay $20. So it was free shipping if you have an order over $99. Um, I'll get into the pricing and stuff after I do the unboxing. Um, so yeah, there's... I believe a total of four plants. Um, so let's get to unboxing. Mind you, I was expecting this on the 22nd. I'm glad I was here this morning because they gave the wrong, well, you, uh, not UPS, FedEx gave the wrong time frame. And I was in contact with Garden Goods. Um, and they told me it was going to be here by this Saturday um, when I first had placed the order. And I placed the order like at the end of Jul uh, June. And I guess with California, they only deliver, they can only deliver for every two weeks. California is real strict on stuff um, to get delivered here. And I guess, I don't know. Uh, so, like, if I go to L.A., there's more, you get more variety. Sacramento, we, we're lucky if we get good tropicals in. So, a lot of stuff um, I think I've pretty much got, but every now and then I find a rare plant. So, I do got a bunch of newspaper because I already can tell it's probably a mess in here. I see one, two, three, four staples. So I already know how they do. They staple their boxes. Um, let me give it a good tip. So there's the plant. And it's a total of four. I do see soil everywhere. I don't know what the shape these plants are going to be in. I'm just hoping and praying they're in some good shape, though. Um, but they've been on the road. They left Maryland Monday. So, they've been on the road for quite some time. You see, I brought my pliers and everything. I've seen how people do unboxing for them, so I was ready. So, here's one. They have them uh, stapled and taped into the box, which is good, especially since they use FedEx and they got a, you know, it's a driver. Let's see. We want to have a hard time getting these out. Let's see here. Oh boy, I can feel this wet already up in here. what the state of these plants are going to be in. But I did contact them um, and they told me if I had any issues to give them a call. So I was going to, I was, I'm doing this unboxing and if it's bad, I think I won't show the video, but if it's good, I'll show it. Even though, um, just because they did say if I had any issues to call them, so I don't want to um, be like that, you know. Okay, so it looks like there's two staples.
Yeah, I was ready for these guys. All right, we got one plan out. I'm so scared to see what's going on, but. Staple about it here because I don't want to poke it into roots and stuff, but I'm like it's just gonna be stuck. Oh well, so it's taped up in here too. And I hope she, these plants are okay. I really didn't know they used FedEx until I. I should have read more, even though UPS messes up stuff too. But these plants been on a truck since Monday, so it's Saturday. And I'm way across the world compared to. But these are some green plants. Uh, please tell me you're okay. Uh, oh boy. So here's the first plant. This is a painted lady philodendron. Looks like, let's see. Hmm. I don't know if this, this was just one of her little things. It looks okay, I think. Hmm. Never seen one in person. She's a little stressed, but hopefully she's okay. So it looks like one of these leaves at the bottom look a little bit rough. Um, other than that, I think she's gonna be okay. She looks pretty good. I'm sure she's a little stressed, but that's okay because I'm going to give her get some water. Looks like maybe a few leaves look, but other than that, she's beautiful. Um, her leaves look okay. I'm going to definitely put her into the shower. So this must be a new one. Going through the roots and stuff. She didn't really lose that much soil. But I'm going to end up Hotting her up. Looks like this bottom leaf is a little damaged. These two bottom leaves um, look a little bit damaged, but we'll see. Other than that, she looks pretty healthy. Um, yeah, this leaf must have just came. Actually, she has this new leaf and this new leaf. And then she has one coming out, so... This is definitely one of my wish plants. Um, I'm sure she's just a little stressed, but other than that, I mean, for her to be on a truck for a few days, she looks okay. So um, that's her. So that's one, my painted lady philodendron. I need to get her established. Alright, so there's one. One down. Three to go. Her box, I mean, her pot's a little damaged, but that's okay because I'm going to be putting her in a whole other pot. I just want to get her, let her get a stab, and then I'll let her rest. So there's one. So we got two leaves, look like. They're having issues, but um, 
other than that, it looks okay. So let me put her to the side. So there's one, the painted lady philodendron. She's really, really pretty. Very pretty. The philodendrons are so uh They're so um, resilient, you know, or whatever that word's called. They're very, um, strong beans. <laughs> okay. There you go, sweet. Oh. I'm in my room, uh, so there's no plants here because um, I'm just scared. I don't know if there's bugs or whatever traveled with them. Okay. Okay. So let's see what's the second one. So yeah, just she lost some of her little... I don't even know what to call them. That's when they shed from the leaves. Let's get these staples up out of here. There's probably staples on the other side, or them ones are just down there because it don't look like it. Just looks like there's four staples. Thanks to watching other people's uh, garden goods uh, unboxing. So, so far I've ordered from, so garden goods, Steve's Leaves, and um, Pepper's Greenhouse. Um, and then I'm going to be getting some more from a, another one. So... I've had okay experiences. I like Etsy's. I like, well, I've ordered a lot of Sansevieria's. Not a lot. A few off of Etsy. I like um, the ones that I've gotten so far and the prices that I paid because they're kind of rare. So, but, um, yeah, I... It's been okay, my experiences. I think I might try Hertz just to give it a try, uh, even though there's so many bad reviews about them. But it, I like trying things anyway, so. All right, let's see. Here's another one. Plant number two. Let's see, what do we got here? No casualties. Got one down. She looks okay. I'm sure she's a little stressed from being in a truck for that many days. And that's a long ride from Maryland to Sacramento, California. We're totally across from each other, so. But it's still amazing how you can have a plant shipped to you. Let's see. This is supposed to be the black and gold Sansevieria, which um, it's okay. I just think you shouldn't have watered her so much, but it's not soaked, which is a good thing. So, because these guys really don't need to be watered. 
this is my black and gold Santa area. It looks okay. It is the black and gold, so I don't have... I had a littler one to this, but I actually um, gave it to my god baby. So, um, she looks pretty good. She's pretty healthy, big and healthy, and she's not soaked, which I'm happy about. I do not want to be dealing with no soaked Sansevierias, but they're, they do not like that. But she's pretty good. I got to get her in some terracotta, but um, other than that, she's pretty healthy. This is the black and gold. She's pretty. She's going to get popped in another pot quickly. A pot with some my systemic bug. All these plants will get treated with. Uh, every time I get a plant, I treat them with the systemic um, bonite systemic. I just put it in the roots. Um, she'll get repotted, so some, I'll put that in her roots. But that's the black and gold. She's pretty. I like her. She's nice and cool. And I didn't pay much for her. Like, I got pretty much the most expensive ones is that one and another one. Uh, the Painted Lady, which I still got a good deal for. Right, let's get her right here. So, I like her. I'm glad I got her. Go to the collection. And I got some more coming, so. Sansevierias, a lot of them are what I'm ordering now. All right, let's get to these two. Let's see if there's there no staples for these ones. So they probably didn't put staples so they that way um, because these other plants were on top. So, okay. Oh, boy, let's see. Ooh, I can already see this one had a little issue, but. at the top it looks a little bit like she just got a little bit of stress damage but so that's good the two that were at the bottom weren't stapled in which is good Probably because these other ones were protecting them, so I see they got a lot of those little fertilizers, the green ones, the little slow release ones in here. Let's get this bag girl open. So this is the philodendron lemon lime. I had a smaller version one, and now she's still alive. I uh, had to propagate her and do some stuff to her because she was kind of damaged. Uh, and then I repotted her too many times, and it just was a lot going on. So uh, let me get all of these. Wow. Mind you, mine wasn't nowhere near this size. This size is huge. She's huge. 
Um, so this is the Santa, I mean, the lemon lime philodendron. So you have the neem lime and then you have the lemon lime. This is the lemon lime version. Um, a lot of people call the, um, the heart leaf one a neon, but it's not. It's actually, I mean, the heart leaf one a lemon lime, but this, this is the actual lemon lime and it's humongous. She got some little bit of stress at the, some of her leaves, but I'm not tripping. That's fine. I'm going to clean her up and get her situated anyway. So. Wow. She's big. And she's healthy too. This girl's huge. Look at these leaves. They're humongous. So they come out with this lime, uh, you know, real bright neon color and then it winds up being a uh it turns into the lime green wow it almost looks like a moonlight philodendron but it's uh more it's also like the painted lady in the um so this is the mature one i i like i said the one i had she was uh nowhere near this i almost paid the same price for her that and she was in a six I mean a four inch pot look at these leaves they're huge so a lot of the leaves look a little bit you know like they stressed out or whatever but that's all right I'm gonna uh, clean her up and um, give her a shower and stuff and then I gotta stake her up too I'm gonna have to find a stake to get her Situated. She's a big girl. Man. She has a lot of new growth coming up out of here, too. So, yeah, she's really, really big. This thing stretches all the way up. So, that's her. She's a beauty, too. I'm not sure for some of her leaves was a little bit damaged, but she's still pretty good. Especially coming from the ride that she just took. Wow. She definitely would need a state. I gotta get some moss poles for all these plants. I got so many of them that are growing out of control. So this is the philodendron lemon lime. The, the one I have is so cute. Uh, cute. She's still alive, but she's like only got a few leaves, all new leaves because uh, the other one just, it was all bad when I got her. So I try to do all types of stuff and it just didn't work out. So she has a bunch of lower leaves she was going to lose anyway, so she's pretty good. I'm happy with her. She's got some humongous leaves. I didn't even know this is how she's supposed to look. She literally looks like a moonlight philodendron, but she's, uh, her leaves are like the, almost like the painted lady and the, um, the red emerald, uh, family, but she's a climber also so i definitely need to get her into I'm gonna get her something to stake her up with so that's her the lemon lime philodendron she's big <laughs> all right let's get this last one out we're done I'm pretty happy with the order. I didn't think they was going to come in this big. Man, I got some big plants. <laughs> some nice ones, too. Um, so, let's see here. There we go.
have had this <laughs> okay. Last but not least, looks like she soaked. Uh, let's see. Alright, this is the last one. Mm. Well, this is another painted lady. Yes, I ordered two just based on you lose one, you never know what's going to happen. And I may end up potting them together or keeping them separate. But um, yeah, I ordered two of them just based on they're so rare and it's hard to get a hold of these. And I always, sometimes, like when it's a, one that's really, really rare and hard to get a hold to, I get two. Just in case, even though I should have probably got more of that lemon lime. But um, the painted lady, you know, and the price wasn't that bad um, for these two. So that's why I bought them. Plus, this is definitely a, a dream plant. Uh, if I say one of my dream plants, this is definitely one. And there's a whole bunch more. Um, but... So this is the second one, and this is also a painted lady. Um, she lost a few leaves also. But other than that, she's good. It looks all right. Her leaves look pretty healthy and pretty and huge. Look at this leaf. Of course, they're a little stressed, so that's normal. Coming up out of here. Um, other than that, she looks okay. Um, but we'll see. I have to give these all a good shower and let them get rested and situated. I might not even mess with them till. I was going to just put them in my shower, shower them off, but um, I'm going to just leave them be for now. Just let them get situated, and then I'll more than likely throw them in the shower. But this one looks good, too. This leaf is huge. So I'm glad I got two. I'll probably more than likely add these two in one pot, or I might just keep them uh, two. I like getting... Two of the rare plants, uh, you just never know if you lose one, at least you got another one. Um, also, you know, um, with philodendrons, you just, I don't know, I sometimes like having two of the same one. Um, but I did order these two because these are kind of rare plants. I'm so glad I got it. I, I feel like I'm in a dream right now because... <laughs> Man, I've been wanting one of these, and I end up getting two, so I'm glad I, I got them. They sell out pretty quick, so I'm glad I got them when I did. Um, but, yeah, check out Garden Goods if you can. Um, you know, there's, there's horror stories, and then there's good stories, so you never know what's going to happen. But... Um, her up here real quick so I can go over the invoice and stuff. So yay! I got me some new philodendrons. I've had, even though I had this lemon lime, it was nothing like this one at all. There's no comparison. Uh, and then the black and gold I'm really happy about because um, I had a really smaller one of this so these are all six inch pots, um, I'll, and I more than likely will order from them again because uh, there's still some more plants that I want that they ha they were out of stock. So I'm just gonna keep checking them out and um, see you know what's what all um, 
came in or whatever. I'll make sure I got newspaper. And then they'll stay in my room. This will be my new little, um, my the new uh, room. It used to be the kitchen, but now the kitchen's filled up with plants. So my room's empty. Everybody's in the front anyway. I, I keep it pretty dark and cold in here because the front, I don't, I have the windows open and the air uh, constantly, um, the, the windows are constantly open in there and I have all the blinds up it's in it's hot up in there so I do keep my room nice and cold um, and dark so all the Santa various had to get in there so the total so okay so I did pay for the photos uh, photo sanitary certificate um, Plant material contained hereon has been expected and found free of all stages of gypsy moth. The rooted plants are treated to control Papalea japanica according to the criteria for shipment to Category 1 states as provided in U.S. domestic Japanese beetle, beetle harmonization plans. So you have to play for this. They did spray it with some foliage spray. They drenched it, a soil drench also. So they, I guess they treat them. I don't know if they just started doing that or if they have to do it just for California. Because I didn't see anyone else who had an order had to go, have to get that. So, okay. Um, the Santa Varia was $17.95. The snake plant was $17.95. Um, which is a good deal because I would have had to pay 22 uh, for all the six inch pots in my local nurseries. They're, well, sometimes they're even a little bit higher. Um, but for Santa Varias at one of my local nurseries, I see these at Home Depot sometimes, but it's like a little one. Um, but I would have had to pay at least 20 for uh, the black and gold at a nursery which i never see them have the black and gold actually so it's 22 dollars for 22.50 actually i believe for uh six inch pots so it winds up to 24 bucks at a at my local nurseries um it seemed like they all it used to be 20 dollars, then they raised it up um so yeah so that was 17.95 the lemon lime philodendron was $18.95, which was a good deal because I had a four inch little one and that one was, I bought it for about 10 bucks. I think I, yeah, I spent about, well, I had a, uh, they were having a sale. So I think I spent seven, maybe $8 for it. Um, and it was a four inch and remember it was kind of all damaged and then I uh, repotted it too many times and it's too much then I had to restart it in water and so now she's basically a little tiny baby but she's still hanging in there um, and she's got new leaves coming in so anyhow so that was $17.95 this lemon lime philodendron lemon lime $18.95 and then the painted ladies each one's were $34.95, which came up to $69.90. My total for all four plants were $106. I had to pay, uh, so it was free shipping for $99, but I still end up having to pay the $20 for the photosynthesis, uh, the photosynthesis certificate. Um, so yeah. And so the total came up to $126.80. Now, if I added up for one, I wouldn't be able to find a philodendron painted lady in Sacramento, California. This is very rare. So, um, I and if they do get it, they probably charge $50 for it. So really, it came up to $106. So the way I look at it, you know, it's almost like $25 each. Um, and then the shipping, the photo center C certificate, they're 20. So if I were to go 
say I wanted to go get all these plants in the nurseries out here and they'd probably charge me 30 anyways, 30 to $40 for a rare uh, philodendron. So this painted lady, I'd say it would be about 30 bucks. They'd probably charge me that. Um, this would have definitely been 2250. This would have been 2250. So it all adds up and then the gas driving around looking for them. So really it may seem high, um, but I've spent more than this driving around buying 2250 plants that wind up being $24. I've spent more than 126.80 on plants, believe it or not, of uh, buying little here, you know, 1250 here, 2250 here. Um, when you add all the taxes up, um, it, you know, and I see a lot of people getting plants. So now what I'm, uh, quality over quantity. I'm going to start getting plants that are quality over quantity. So if I got to spend a hundred dollars for a rare plant, that's not going to be anywhere in, in the future, if I want to clip it and propagate it and resell it, I'll be able to get my money back versus me driving around buying all these different plants, um, you know, going here and there, getting all these clearance plants or buying plants that uh, they're just nice. You wind up spending, uh, trying to be cheap, you wind up spending because a lot of those plants don't end up surviving. You spend your money on getting soils and all that stuff. They don't end up surviving. So I believe it's best to get quantity over quality. And it's best also to buy plants that you know like I said, with me, I would put myself on a no buy and then I'd go buy about 20 more plants when I would do that. So when you put yourself on a no buy of plants you don't have that and out of a category that you like, if you like agulimas, just buy agulimas. Say, I don't want to buy any more plants today, I mean this month, or for here on out, I just want Chinese evergreen, agulimas. If you like, uh, you know, sisses or... Uh, you know, the uh, Hoyas. Um, so me, I'm just only, if you notice, every plant that I've been unboxing since I put myself on the only buying Hoyas, Peperomias, Philodendrons, and Sansevierias. Well, Sansevierias should have been first. Uh, Sansevieria, Philodendron, Hoyas, and a Peperomia. There's only probably, like I said before, there's only like three of them that I want um, that are left out the ones that I don't have. And they're rare, uh, so I'll eventually end up getting those three, which puts me at, I won't have to keep buying, 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 because I see something that's so cute. Oh, this is so pretty. Um, if you like begonias, get them. Every, begonias aren't for everybody. African violence aren't, aren't for everybody. Succulents aren't for everybody. Uh, for me, Hoyas, Sansevierias, and Philodendrons are for me. Um, Peperomias too, but I still struggle with them. There's one, there's a, there's a few that I struggle with. I've struggled with uh, uh, Peperomias. And if I got to struggle with you, life is already a struggle. So if I got to struggle with you, I don't need you. I straight up. So um, this unboxing kind of was long, but hope everyone enjoyed it. Um, uh, so yeah, there's my plants. Uh, I, I like what I got. I'm pretty happy with my order. Um, like I said, I'll probably order from them again because there are some that I want to get from them. Um, so, and I do get Monsteras also. Those are other plants, but they kind of, they're aeroids, so they remind me of the philodendron, but not all Monsteras. I don't uh, do some of them. So, but other than that, I hope everyone enjoyed this unboxing. Um, if you get a chance, go to Garden Goods Direct. Uh, they, I'm pretty satisfied with my order. Um, if you think it's pricey, try to add it up and drive all over town and keep buying plants here and there. 10, 20, that adds up. So, um, at the end of the day, you gotta think of it that way. So, hope everyone has a blessed weekend. Um, I will definitely do an update on these guys. Um, and I hope everyone has a blessed weekend. Thanks for watching. Bye.